For Gerald Jacobs, who has five decades of professional experience in the field of law, the path to his profession was paved at a young age. Mr. Jacobs' father, Irving Jacobs, was a lawyer, and having seen the work firsthand growing up, he saw that as a natural occupation to pursue. His early abilities in writing and speaking also seemed to steer him towards the profession. After finishing high school in New York, he attended Amherst College in Massachusetts, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts and graduated cum laude and with a Simpson Memorial Fellowship in 1965. He subsequently pursued more specific studies at Harvard University, receiving a Doctor of Jurisprudence in 1968. He was admitted to the New York State Bar and District of Columbia Bar in 1969 and 1972, respectively. Since 2013, Mr. Jacobs has been a solo practitioner at his own firm, the law offices of Gerald L. Jacobs, a practice focusing on administrative law and communications law. Prior to this, he was a partner with Cone and Marks LLP in Washington, D.C. from 1999 to 2013, special counsel for Rosenman and Collin LLP from 1987 to 1999, and a member of the Federal Communications Commission's Review Board from 1980 to 1987. Earlier, from 1974 to 1978, he served as Assistant Chief and then Deputy Chief of the Cable Television Bureau, was Chief of the Certificates Compliance Division from 1973 to 1974, and launched his career as a staff member with the FCC Cable Television Bureau in 1968, working in the position for 10 years. Within his career as an attorney, supervisor, and in quasi-judicial roles at the FCC, a major achievement of Mr. Jacobs was directing the initiation of upwards of 170 comparative broadcast licensing proceedings and heading a staff of 80 attorneys, engineers, and others responsible for approving all AM, FM, TV, and auxiliary construction permits and licenses for new broadcast stations and modifications of existing facilities. He has also authored and supervised some 125 decisions and memorandum opinions over the course of his career. Mr. Jacobs considers his profession within the FCC to be the best job he could have possibly gotten after law school. The field was full of emerging technology and he felt like he was on the ground floor in terms of cable regulations. He was also regularly promoted and given several awards for his work there. As a manager himself, he insisted that awards and promotions were frequently given out as great incentives for his employees to work hard. Towards the end of his career in that field, he was given a bonus by his executives and he used that extra money to sponsor a luncheon for his entire staff, a group of 90 people at the time. He said he got the bonus, but it was based on their work. Throughout his career in law, Mr. Jacobs' favorite moment was when he served as an appellate judge for the FCC. The most important aspect of his career, however, has been his involvement in numerous volunteer organizations. Mr. Jacobs' practice emphasizes broadcast and digital television issues. He files comments in complex broadcast rulemaking proceedings, most recently involving DTV implementation, industry EEO requirements, satellite program delivery, application streamlining, multiple ownership limitations, broadcast auctions, and FM channel allotments. In addition, Jerry litigates broadcast issues in adversary pleading cases, negotiations, and FCC administrative hearings. Finally, Jerry advises clients concerning FCC policy issues and legislative developments in the communications area, and he handles FCC-related transaction matters. Currently serving as a member of the Federal Communications Bar Association, Mr. Jacobs was previously affiliated with the American Bar Association and Federal Bar Association. Also a man of civic and communal pride, Mr. Jacobs has been president of the Chesapeake Bay region of Benai Barith since 2014 and the perennial president of Benai Barith of Cardozo Lodge in Virginia since 1992. He has previously held major roles for the United Synagogue of Conservative Judaism, the Virginia State Association of Benai Barith, 
the Amherst Association, the American Jewish Congress, the Horizon Hill Civic Association, the Jewish Community Council of Greater Washington, Burke Townhouse Homeowners Association, and the Eskayim Men's Club. Mr. Jacobs also has contributed as a Torah reader and Ba and Bat Mitzvah tutor and has written articles for Moment magazine. Mr. Gerald Jacobs, a law practitioner for more than 50 years, has had a prolific and rewarding career, full of great accomplishments and impactful work. Through it all, though, his biggest goal has always been to help others. To future generations and those who wish to pursue the legal field, Mr. Jacobs encourages that they demonstrate honesty, intellectual excellence, learning, and leadership. His legacy, he hopes, will be that of a competent lawyer and a successful lay leader of his various organizations, and will be left for his wife, three children, and six grandchildren. In fact, his son is currently following in his footsteps and serves as an attorney for a trade association.